Let's start with the basics. What are breasts? Breasts, also known as mammary glands, are made up of three types of tissue, fatty, fibrous, and glandular tissue. Fatty tissue gives breasts their size and shape. Fibrous tissue provides support and structure, and glandular tissue produces and carries milk. Our breasts change throughout our lives, starting with puberty. In girls, breast development is often the earliest sign of puberty and begins between the ages of 8 and 13. It all starts with the growth of a small bump under the nipple, called a breast bud. And as the breast bud grows, the darker area of skin around the nipple, known as the areola, also develops. Once our ovaries produce and release estrogen, fat in the breast tissue starts to collect causing breasts to get bigger and rounder over time and milk-producing glands to grow. Breasts are usually fully developed by age 17 or 18, but for some women, breasts continue to grow for just a few more years. Breasts also change with menstruation. The same hormones that trigger your period, estrogen and progesterone, rise and fall with your cycle, causing your breasts to change in size, shape, and feel throughout the month. Early in the cycle, our ovaries start producing estrogen, which stimulates the growth of milk ducts. Then progesterone takes over, enlarging the milk glands. This may cause breast swelling, pain, and soreness. The week before our period, our breasts are at their fullest. They may feel lumpy, heavy, and tender. Fortunately, these feelings usually go away when our period begins. And then, at the end of our period, hormones are at their lowest level, so our breasts tend to be smaller in size. Breast changes are also one of the first signs of pregnancy. One to two weeks after conception, breasts rapidly swell. At the end of week four, breast development takes off. And by week five or six, women may need a larger bra due to their growing breasts. At the same time, the amount of blood flowing to the breast doubles, which is why many women see veins through their skin. Our nipples and areolas become larger and darker in the second trimester, and in the third trimester, breasts become heavier and denser, and nipples become more pronounced and may change shape. After birth, breasts are often sore and feel very full, which is called engorgement. Women who breastfeed will notice their breasts are bigger, and this will continue until breastfeeding ends. By our late 40s and early 50s, our breasts go through a process called involution. The glands that produce milk shut down and the connective tissue becomes dehydrated and loses fullness and firmness. Our breasts also become less dense, meaning there is more fatty tissue than glandular tissue, which leads to sagging. Breasts may get smaller or bigger if we gain weight after menopause. And as the years go by, we may notice a wider space between our breasts or downward pointing nipples. Every woman's breasts are unique. They may be big or small, or in between, round or bell-shaped, or another shape. No matter what they look like or feel like, knowing your breasts and understanding normal changes through different life stages can help you keep them healthy and at their best.